If only Innova could make a disc that flies like a beaten destroyer, brand new out of the box. Well, they claim that's what they've done with the brand new racer. I have a 164 gram racer in the G-Star plastic, and let's find out if it really flies like a beaten destroyer. We're gonna throw it out in the open field nice and flat, and I'll also be checking in from Hornet's Nest periodically. I went and played with this disc out there and played a few of the par fours, and I'll show you guys how it did out there. But anyway, racer, first throw. Let's see how she goes. A touch of pop-up, but pretty darn stable. Overall, it's been flying a little bit more stable than I expected. Um, and it has one other really interesting flight characteristic that I definitely think is noteworthy. So make sure you stay tuned for that. I reviewed a bunch of other cool discs, so make sure you subscribe and look forward to those new reviews of all the upcoming drops. Let's go do a few more throws. Pull eight, one of my favorite par fours in the course, requires a nice straight shot that fades hard left at the end. All right, come on, throw it nice and flat. There it is. That's absolute perfection, I think. Heck of a shot with the racer. So the racer landed in this little bush here, right in the gap. Pretty nice drive, honestly. We're gonna test out the brand new Firebird, which I will also be doing a review later this week. Let's see how stable this guy is. Oh yeah, she's a beef dog. So if you wanna see the review of the new Firebird, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you'll see that later this week or this weekend. All right, Innova Racer, let's put it on a little bit more angle here and see if we can get it to hold that minus one turn, even for just a second. So I got a little bit of a pop-up and turn and then a nice reliable fade at the end, coming into that green very, very fast and skipping all the way up to parallel with the flag. It's a very fast disc. It got to the green very, very quickly, but I definitely was having a hard time finding the shot shape that I was looking for. And I don't want you guys to get it twisted. The racer is not going to fly like the Gorgon. The Gorgon is that ultimate beginner friendly 10 speed distance driver that most players are going to be able to get some turn out of it and that's why i love the gorgon so much and i think a lot of you guys like the gorgon as well that video performed really well and i think a lot of you guys went and bought gorgons and really enjoyed throwing them the g-star gorgon is still in my bag now now i would say the racer is several ticks more stable than the gorgon so if you're looking for a longer gorgon the racer is certainly not going to be it as far as that is concerned. But if you have the arm speed to throw a Star Destroyer, the racer is going to fit right in that slot as a slightly less stable destroyer with, a, with definitely a more pushy fade as opposed to a dumping fade. And as you even saw in that throw there, when it did start to fade, it doesn't really want to crash. It just sort of continues to push maybe a little bit more like a Thunderbird. The racer's coming alive in the back nine. All right, the racer is the best drive I've ever seen on this hole. So definitely something to be said for that. Just throw in the eagle. Well, or the tap in birdie. That'll play. 164 G Star Racer up in the air with a little bit of Anheuser. See how long it holds that line before it fades at the end? That went clean into the woods. That went so far, but it's a very unique minus one, two. It's gonna fly a lot differently to the minus one twos that you've thrown before. And I may be the first person to coin this statement. I do think the racer is if the destroyer and the Thunderbird had a baby, because you get that sweeping fade of a Thunderbird but sort of the reliability and the stability of a destroyer. And you're gonna find yourself with a very unique driver. And if you can get past the different feeling that the nose bead's going to give you, I do think you'll have a nice experience with this disc. But just remember, I just yeeted that thing 
I pushed it all the way to the woods, which is at least 430. It's an absolute smash. It's a 163 G star and it's that stable. So if you get a new star racer, I can't imagine it's going to be less stable than that. And it's likely going to be more stable than that. So when it comes to the racer, I probably would lean into the G star and the lighter weight, um, just so for the overall best user experience. Um, that's just my opinion. So from that T box way over there to this is about 400. And that thing went like clean all the way to the woods. I probably should have measured the throw. I wouldn't be surprised if that was like 440, 450. And you can see like, even on that much power, the racer was still coming out at the end. It's an absolute unit of a driver with very unique flight characteristics for a distance driver. Man, I have mixed feelings about the end of a racer. I love the fact that Innova took a chance and came out with a completely unique distance driver that has a nose bead. This is so unusual for modern distance drivers. And I do think it is affecting the flight in the way I was describing earlier. It causes that disc not to want a hyzer flip, but when you put it on turn, it helps it want to stay on turn and hold on to that high speed turn for as long as possible. And as you saw, when I put it on the Anheuser line, it went really, really far. So if you're someone that likes releasing on a slight Anheuser, this thing is going to absolutely crush for you. And I could not recommend it more in the lightweight. Just to show you guys, to confirm, I have the 164 racer in the G-Star plastic, 12.6 minus 1.2. I mean, this thing is an absolute unit of a distance driver that's gonna provide you with a very unique slot in your bag. I don't know if I'd call it beat and destroyer, like I said, I think it's if a destroyer and a Thunderbird had a baby. It's got that pushy, pushing, driving fade of a Thunderbird where it's not going laterally and crashing like a Firebird or crashing like a destroyer. It just wants to keep going forward, but still has the integrity of a destroyer. So I think this is more so if a Thunderbird and a destroyer had a baby, that's where I think the racer sits. And again, I definitely just threw this well over 400 and it's 164 G star. So the max weight ones are going to be super beefy. So if you have a fast arm, I'd say get the max weight one. But if you throw around 60 miles an hour like myself, I'd say go with the G-Star. Feels great. G-Star, obviously. It's one of the most popular plastics that Innova has to offer for amateur players, masters players. Experienced players really love G-Star plastic for a reason. And I would recommend this disc in the G-Star plastic. Personally, I think the Star ones are just going to be so stable for most people. It's just going to be a destroyer with a nose bead. But that's my thoughts on the racer. I think you should go get yourself one. Test it out for yourself. Let me know what you think. Get it over at Power Grip USA. Use my discount code ICEBERG10. It'll save you 10% on your order. Spend over $70 and your order will ship for free. I have tons of super sick reviews coming out in the next couple of weeks. Power Grip sent me a huge package of discs that I cannot be more excited about. So we're going to have disc reviews flying off left and right. Make sure you go check out those videos. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button. Leave me a comment. I'll see you guys in the next video and take care.